G'day, welcome back. Uh, today here with the trailer. Having a few problems with the light, so I'm kind of a bit stumped as to what's going on. But I thought I'd bring you along and see if you can come up with some ideas for me, because I'm pretty sure this thing's haunted. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Well, mostly it doesn't make any sense. Uh, but first of all, I'll tell you what's happened. So this trailer used pretty hard for firewood last firewood season. Um, Took a bit of a bashing as a result of that. Uh, so the old lights, conventional bulbs, they were kind of pretty well munted. So just got some new LED ones. Also got a new plug up the other end of it. And connected it up. Figured it'd be nice and easy. Nice new LED lights. Plug it into the car. Not that simple. Nothing seems to work like it should. So. Take it from me, all the wires are connected as they should be. Um, I'll start off I'll, using the old power probe, I'll put power to each of these and you'll see see how the lights work like this. Right now, so we'll start the indicator. Works fine. Tail light, fine. Uh, brake light. Looks fine. The tail light and brake light are combined, they just get brighter when you turn them on. So, so as you can see, that should work fine. I've only got one side connected, I've left the other side out of the picture at the moment, just to kind of make this a bit simpler. Uh, but next up, I'll show you the socket on the car. We'll test the power on there. So there we'll plug up power probe in 12 volt socket. We've got power. Alright, so the ignition's on. We'll connect up the ground. The ignition on, lights are on, hazard lights are on. So start off with the indicator. Powered fine. Other indicator. And remember which one the tail lights are. That's the tail lights. So, low tones lift out. High pitch says there's 12 volts. So there's 12 volts to the to the right. Right one on the um, tail lights. Next, we'll connect the trailer. Right, now I'll show you what it does connected to the car, which is just over there. Right, so indicators work fine. Tail lights, we only get the number plate light on, don't get anything on the tail light itself. And I think you probably saw the brake lights seem to work okay. So over here we've got the cable for the other light. We'll just have a look on here to see what's what's what. So at the moment, got our earth, so we should have power to the white, which is the tail light. Again, you'll just have to take my word that the wiring's all connected where it should be. There we go, we've got plus 12 volts. Uh, everything else is off. So here we've got tail lights, brake lights, and yellow or green. Can't remember which one of them is the indicator on this side. Uh, probably green. So yeah, that seems to be working fine. We don't have any, not feeding any of the other circuits over here. So why don't those tail lights work? I've no idea. 
idea because as you saw, car works fine, trailer works fine, car and trailer wanted. Uh, so, I don't know, could it be that I need a load resistor? Because the LEDs are too low resistance, so I could go and get a 50 ohm resistor, chuck it in parallel, see that helps things out, but I don't know, I'm not sure that will help. So yeah, I don't know. let me know what you think, what I can do else I can do to test. Uh, so, my thoughts were there's a, a short in that light, and it's shorting out somewhere. Um, but that's... Not sure that makes much sense if we've still got 12 volts through to that, from the left hand side. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Please do my head in at the moment. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, looking forward to your comments down below. Tuned into the Plow Guys live feed this morning whilst I was not doing much at four o'clock. Um, cool stuff, nice to see you all there. Uh, but yeah, any ideas on this, let me know and um, we'll follow it up once we've sussed it out and hopefully with some of your input. Cheers.